My name is Anne Gaspard. I am the executive director of Equinet, which is the European network of equality bodies. We work in a context where our members, national independent institutions acting as watchdogs for equality and non-discrimination in their countries, are responding to increasing inequalities across society. In this context, where the core European values need to be protected and reaffirmed, we welcome the very high level of turnout in the recent uh, European elections. So that as a posi positive signal, and a momentum and an opportunity for renewed engagement, particularly among younger generations, around shared European values of social justice and equality, standing for democracy and the rule of law, and the addressing the urgency of climate change, which, as we know, also has significant equality implications. And finally, we're very pleased to see a more gender-balanced European Parliament for the next mandate, an ambition to be sustained and strengthened alongside greater efforts to better reflect the broader diversity of the European population. It will be crucial for the new EU leaders and the parliamentarians to respond to increasing hate speech and support positive narratives in Europe. And to address, as I mentioned, persisting and increasing inequalities in our societies, and this across all of the grounds of equality. In doing so, socioeconomic rights and poverty as a cross-cutting form of inequality should also be addressed, thereby advancing the implementation of the UN Sustainable Development Goals making sure we're leaving no one behind in the future of Europe. Secondly, it will be key to secure a better implementation of rights, of equality legislation and policies, thereby making a difference for all citizens. It will therefore be the opportunity in the coming five years to create a momentum for strengthening the infrastructure through implementing European standards for equality bodies, through introducing ambitious new equality strategies at European level and through strengthening and extending the legal protection from discrimination to cover all grounds and fields of life. From the perspective of the work of Equinet and Equality Bodies, we see a strong potential and a momentum for the green wave to, if you like, continue to champion and advance equality. And this through particular priorities that we see, working in particular for strong and ambitious new equality strategies focused on particular grounds, a new European gender equality strategy, on focusing on Roma, on disability, on LGBTI equality whilst taking an intersectional approach. Second, we see an important potential that to ensure that equality is considered as a horizontal issue relating to relevant other key priorities for the EU. Working towards a European Green Deal as climate change, as we know, has a particular detrimental effect on already disadvantaged groups but also prioritizing equality within a Europe that works for our people or a Europe fit for the digital age against recognizing the particular impact on specific grounds and groups such as women, ethnic minorities or different age groups in societies. Finally, we welcome appointment, the appointment of a dedicated European Commissioner for Equality. The European Parliament and the Greens have an important role there to play to hold both Commission and Member States to account of their commitment to promote and ensure equality for all, but also to achieve levels of uh, and higher levels of equality mainstreaming across the EU work and the institutions.